The Universe, The Last Frontier Billions of galaxies containing billions of stars Like our own Milky Way galaxy As a tiny speck in one spiral arm of our galaxy, we find our solar system of planets, including planet Earth. Earth is the only known water planet in our universe supporting life as we know it. Nevertheless, it is expected that virtually all of the billions of stars in galaxies nurture their own solar systems of planets. Some of these planets may be terrestrial, but lack the liquid or frozen water necessary for life as we know it. Yet, there are likely to be many Earth-like planets in the habitable zones of their suns that harbor water. How did water arrive on Earth and on other habitable planets? How is water in all its forms, throughout the universe, connected with dark matter, dark energy, astrobiology, and the origin of life? This film is based on Chapter 3 of the recent Springer book, Water in Biomechanical and Related Systems. Stars are born in water-rich nebulae, such as the Orion Nebula, and they die as supernovae explode in cosmic dust. Cosmic rays expel nanoclusters of water molecules from the amorphous ice that coats the cosmic dust nanoparticles. We know that water molecules form hydrogen bonds with each other to form liquid water and ice. It is also known that water molecules can bond to form nano-sized clusters. Here we see five water molecules forming a pentagonal nanocluster. This nanocluster vibrates in the terahertz region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Its cutoff vibrational frequency is 1.5 terahertz. The lowest entropy nanocluster formed by water pentamers is a pentagonal dodecahedral cluster. The dodecahedron contains a hydronium ion, H3O+. This water nanocluster also vibrates at terahertz frequencies. Such nanoclusters are like giant atoms with electron wave functions that extend from the cluster. These water nanocluster molecular orbitals are called Rydberg orbitals. Excitation of electrons to these orbitals explains why such water nanoclusters are transparent and thus are dark matter. How do we explain dark energy? which is believed to cause the observed accelerating expansion of our universe after its Big Bang creation. Dark energy is usually associated with quantum fluctuations of the vacuum. However, quantum electrodynamics calculations yield a dark energy density that is much greater than the observed value by 10 rays to the power of 120. Cosmic water nanoclusters can absorb vibrationally Via the microscopic dynamical Casimir effect, the high-frequency virtual photons of zero-point energy vacuum fluctuations. Only vacuum fluctuations below the water nanocluster cutoff vibrational frequency are gravitationally active. The net pressure of the system is negative, consistent with dark energy. 
this leads to a simple formula for the dark energy density. Nu sub C is the cutoff vibrational frequency of the water nanocluster, H is Planck's constant, and C is the velocity of light in a vacuum. The calculated value of 1.7 terahertz for the dodecahedral water nanocluster produces the observed small dark energy density. How are cosmic water nanoclusters and their role in dark energy, described by the preceding equation, possibly related to the origin of life on planet Earth and other planets or moons? One popular theory is that ribonucleic acid, or RNA, a precursor to DNA, is the origin of all life. Like DNA, RNA is a polymer consisting of nucleotide sequences, which are composed of nitrogen-containing bases, sugar molecules, and phosphate groups. Cosmic water nanoclusters provide a catalytic pathway for the exchange of water molecules between these prebiotic substances. This leads to the polymerization of RNA, as shown here by the sequence of four nucleotide bases, guanine, adenine, uracil, and cytosine. This may explain how the first self-replicating RNA polymers were created in pools of prebiotic molecules, and thereby clarify the so-called RNA world origin of life, preceding DNA and protein-based life on planet Earth and exoplanets in the habitable zones of developed solar systems, wherever water is present. One of the largest and most distant reservoirs of water, detected in the universe, exists in a high redshift quasar, more than 12 billion light years away. A quasar is an extremely bright active galactic object, in which a supermassive black hole, with mass ranging from millions to tens of billions of times the mass of our Sun, is surrounded by a gaseous accretion disk. The quasar water vapor mass is at least 140 trillion times the mass of all the water in the oceans of planet Earth, and 100,000 times more massive than our Sun. The quasar water vapor produces cosmic water nanoclusters. They are a coolant for rapid early star formation. Gravitational collapse of these stars leads to a massive spinning black hole like that shown here. The entangled, low-entropy water nanoclusters that helped create the stars that collapse to the black hole will be pulled into it by its gravitation. Inside, they constitute exotic matter with negative pressure that promotes wormhole formation. Is it possible that the raining down by these water nanoclusters on a planet that was associated with one of the collapsing stars, but is now captured by the black hole, could provide the water necessary for life on that planet? Perhaps even a water planet? Such as those in the science fiction film, Interstellar, where a team of scientists, attempting to save humanity from a dying Earth, travel through a wormhole, and land on water and ice-covered planets near a black hole. At far enough distances from the black hole, at least 10 light years, the gravitational environment is stable enough for planets to form from the dense dust of the accretion disk. According to published research, more than 10,000 planets are possible around a supermassive black hole. For such a planet, the accretion disk would be as bright in the sky as Earth's sun. Because such quasars and their associated massive black holes are the oldest objects in the universe, even a few life-supporting planets there would allow for the possibility of technologically advanced civilizations to exist not long after the very beginning of the universe. Such a civilization may have launched probes into the black hole to investigate its space-time singularity, and possibly engineered a stable wormhole pass-through to the other side. The human brain is approximately 75% water by weight. Much of that water is in the form of nanoclusters inside the neuron microtubules. Their terahertz vibrations are a basis for human consciousness. 
If this were true also for an early advanced civilization, information carried by the quantum entangled water nanoclusters, and thus consciousness itself, could be preserved as one is swept through the wormhole connecting the black hole to a white hole in another part of the universe. The quantum entangled, low entropy water nanoclusters, and the conscious information carried by them, could possibly survive and be transported out of the wormhole, as so-called Hawking radiation, into another part of the universe. What universe? A popular cosmology theory is the multiverse, which follows from the inflationary Big Bang theory. In the multiverse, it is likely that few universes have the exact physical constants that permit the existence of water and other prebiotic molecules necessary for planetary life as we know it. In contrast to the multiverse, the parallel universes or many worlds theory, derived from quantum mechanics, predicts an infinite number of nearly identical worlds. Here parallel lives occur simultaneously, but we have no practical way of entering or communicating with those worlds. In the present theory, we have proposed that supernovae produce ice-coated cosmic dust that ejects water nanoclusters, filling space as a quintessent scalar field of dark matter. Like the fifth element of Plato and Aristotle, this is the terahertz radiative mode of an ejected pentagonal dodecahedral water nanocluster, equal in frequency to the 1.7 terahertz value in the formula, that agrees with the presently observed dark energy density. The indicated anisotropic dipole moments along the nanocluster axis are precursors to water nanocluster birefringents, analogous to the terahertz induced birefringents of liquid water. Observational evidence for biofingence of the cosmic microwave background has recently been reported. As our universe continues to expand, water nanoclusters ejected from cosmic dust will grow larger, and their vibrational frequencies will decrease. Large water clusters are less interacting with the prebiotic molecules of life. With decreasing vibration frequency, dark energy density also decreases. The universe will stop expanding and contract as the gravity of the remaining matter takes over. The universe will expand again, leading to a single cyclic universe instead of an inflationary multiverse. According to this scenario, we are presently living at the ideal time in our universe for life, as we know it, to exist and water nanoclusters, ejected from cosmic dust, could be the seeds of life throughout the universe.